what's up you guys and welcome back to the rachel west experience it's been a hot minute since i posted a video and i figured that since today was a holiday halloween i would attempt to do a little bit of a halloween face like most of you guys i am planning on staying in this halloween i'll be honest halloween is not normally my favorite holiday anyways because I just don't like to be scared. I don't get why people like to be scared. I'm like, that just gets my heart rate up. That gets me stressed and I'm not here for it. But at the same time, I do like the dressing up aspect. I do like sort of the fantasy element. And so I figured why not give a little look a try. I am not a makeup artist. I am not a beauty blogger. I am literally just going to do this for fun with all the goodies that I have, which I actually do have a lot of makeup, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. But we're gonna see what it do. Today I'm going to be attempting an Eve slash Poison Ivy type of vibe. You know, the greens, maybe a little bit of gold. I wish me luck. We're about to do this and I'll literally just be showing this off to the people that are at my house because I'm not going anywhere tonight. So, <laughs> okay, let's go. Starting off with a little bit of primer. My nose is usually where I get the shiniest. Also in here, this area here. Also gonna hit up that T-zone. Cause this also gets shiny. I have very oily skin. I'm also gonna put it on my brows cause my brows get shiny. Last place, we're gonna do a little bit on the chin. Maybe just a little bit in this area here. And boom. Gonna be using some Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. I like to put it on my hand first. I honestly have not done makeup in so long, so just bear with me, great? Right? Let me see. I'm going to do a couple diggity dots. Oh, and also FYI, y'all, this is not my hair. This is a beautiful wig. And it's kind of got a little bit of a reddish color to it, so I was like, let's just try her out and see what we think i've actually worn this wig before um for a christmas party and she's like so cute when the light hits her she's like the most beautiful red all right boom up next concealer i'm gonna go in with the good stuff this is the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shed cookie and I just literally have not done makeup in so long that again, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just wing her. I get real dark on my little smile line. So <laughs> she's a, she's a tiger for Halloween. Just kidding. Let's blend her out. Truth be told, I do not usually spend a lot of time on my makeup. Like I love makeup, but I also do not love spending forever getting ready anymore. I don't know if anybody else feels like that. Like ever since quarantine, I'm just like, we're just gonna do something quick and easy because quick and easy is so much easier. <laughs> I think because I've been wearing less makeup since quarantine, my skin has been so much better. It's unreal. All right, I think that's like Gucci for the most part. Oh, we didn't blend over here. <laughs> oh, Gucci. Okay, up next, I'm gonna do my brows, which, ooh, ooh, I do love a brow. This is a Benefit Brow Pencil. It's like very fine tipped, so it's nice. You can kind of get that like realistic looking brow with the fine strokes, you know, if you're real gentle with it. This is number five. So for my People who don't really have a full natural brow, this is how we get the illusion. I like to clean up my brows. I do this every day without fail. I use my MAC NC35 concealer with a flat edge brush and I will go along my brow line. I'll clean up anything that doesn't look good. And it just makes you look like you really know what you're doing when it comes to your brow game. So that is my quick brow. So funny, I feel like I do this so fast now. This used to take me forever, but 
Not anymore. Now I'm just going to take another brush and blend it on out. Ta-da! Okay, since we're going for a Halloween look, I feel like why not try something a little bit more dramatic than I would normally. So I'm going to bust out these cream foundation sticks that I have and just go for drama because why not? So we're going to hit these cheeks and we're going to hit this forehead and maybe I'll even snatch up a nose and maybe even a little bit of a chin vibe because why not? I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender right now. Just blend, blend, blend till the very end. Yes, blend. Okay. Recently just picked up this new NARS bronzer. This is called Casino. And I'm going to take a big kabuki and we're just going to really add some color. Yes. Yes. Last thing I will do is add a little bit of extra bronzer because again, we're going for a dramatic Halloween look. This is my OG bronzer. I don't even know if they carry this anymore. This is a Bobbi Brown bronzer in deep four. All the brown tones, okay? Really not mad. Okay. So I will save all of our beautiful little like shimmering, finishing touches, all that stuff for last, but I am going to take my eyeshadow palette. This is a James Charles palette that my cousin gave me from Morphe and like I mean if you're gonna go crazy like this is the time <laughs> okay so since I'm doing like I said my kind of Eve slash poison ivy inspired look I might be going in with greens but before I hit the green I feel like it would be smart to use a lighter color as my base so I'm actually gonna go in with this yellow if y'all can see We've got a nice little yellow base going. And that's what we like to see. Up next, I'm actually going to use the same brush because <laughs> we can. I'm going to go in with a nice deep crease color. So I'm going to use this dark green and we're going to fill in our crease. I mean, not bad. Really not mad. Something I saw in my inspo was they took a little bit of the same green that was like on their eyes and like plopped it to the inner and outer corners of the bottom lash line. So let's give that a go. Super dope. Does it low key look like I have a black eye? Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. This is a shadow crayon from Sephora. It's nice and gold. I don't know if you can really see, but I'm going to try to hit her on my lid okay so honestly i feel like my lower lash is looking a little crazy let's blend let's see if we can pull this thing together i'm gonna go in with black god bless me hope that this survives and i'm gonna smoke her out I feel like smoking this out is what's going to save this. The more I smoke it, the more I like it. I even take a little bit of black. Yeah. Let's just use our fingers and really try to blend this out. Oh my god. So much better. So now I actually have a nice green smoky eye. I'm going to use this light green to really just green up the whole outside of my eyes. Pray for me. Oh, I love, 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 love. Um, amazing. I know I look a little bit crazy, but like, I promise you this looks really tight. <laughs> okay. 
feeling very poison ivied. Let's add some shimmer, okay? Because nobody's ever mad. Add a little shimmer and shine. I'm gonna take this mineralized skin finish from MAC, which has a bunch of gold in it, and just go in closer to where my green is. Selling the look right now. Now, we're gonna do some heavy liner, okay? Because this is where I feel like I'm really gonna see some of the magic come to life. I'm just gonna go for a strong wing. And just going for it. That's my makeup strategy. And thank you, Tarte Liner. And let's do the same on the other side, if we can. Wow. I'm not a makeup artist, but could I be one? Maybe, after this. Like, I terrify my clients. They'd be like, what are you doing? I'd be like, don't worry, it's gonna turn out great. They'd be like, is it though? This is just a NYX black eyeliner. I think this might be our handy dandy trick right now. Fire. Again with the finger to save the day. Really connect these bad boys. Yep. Yep. Just yes. Okay. Really proud of myself so far. This is looking really good. I'm going to take my Becca highlighter and just go a little crazy. Because shimmer is in when it comes to drama. Okay. Hit that nose. Maybe a little bit up here even. Maybe even go in a little bit closer to the temples. Now, we're gonna hit some blush. I'm gonna use this MAC Peach Twist Blush and I'm just gonna be generous. And it's got shimmer in it, which is awesome. So let's just keep bringing this face to life. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. I usually wouldn't do blush after foundation or sorry after highlighter but there's no rules there's literally no rules bronzer again blend her out all right and with that ladies and gentlemen i think it's time for some lashes i'm gonna be using some drugstore lashes because they're honestly the best these are, I think, Ardell lashes, and the number is 203. Unfortunately, I have already used them once before, so I threw away the card, and I can't tell you exactly what their name is, but it says 203, and let's just twerk it out. y'all boom okay these are our lashes we are looking very dramatic but now to balance it out i have to put some heavy mascara i feel like on my bottom lashes so here we go i'm going to be using the nars climax mascara all right i don't even know if you can tell <laughs> But we did hit some drama. We achieved a lower lash line. <sighs> We're looking really good, you guys. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm very, very proud of myself. <laughs> okay. Now, we need a lip to balance out this look before I can show you guys the full reveal. So, I think because I'm going for this Eve Poison Ivy-ish look, that a deep red would be the best way to go. Especially because my hair is kind of a deep burgundy-ish red. So, I'm going to see what I can find in my lipstick kit. I'm going to start with a darker lip liner. This is an NYX lip liner in brown. Just because I want to make sure we keep it contained. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got our lip liner. I know to go dark, if you're doing a darker lip, ideally you'd have like the matching color, but whatever. All right, so because my hair is not a true red, I feel like a true red is gonna look a little bit wild on the lips. So I'm actually gonna try to blend two colors. So I actually have this Kat Von D, it's kind of like a deep plummy-ish color um pretty dark and then i also have my mac ruby woo staple red and i'm gonna see if i can kind of achieve sort of a burgundy red ish lip so i'm gonna start with my cat Von D. so i'm gonna try to put this on the outside first and see if i can kind of smudge them together don't judge we're gonna put our ruby woo in the center and now we're gonna smudge. Honestly, I feel like I low key nailed it, minus this gap over here. Let me see if I can't make that work. I'm gonna actually use a makeup brush for this. See what I can do. Boom, bang, baby. She's a little bit on the redder side. But, like, I'm also not mad. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to come in a little bit darker again with the Kat Von D. Smudge again. Honestly, fingers are the best. It's a miracle that we get them for free. So, now I'm feeling a little bit more dark, which I like. I'm feeling like we're about ready for our reveal. Shall we do it? Shall we see what she looks like? Ta-da! Here's the final look, you guys. This is my Eve slash Poison Ivy brought to you live from my quarantine bedroom. I hope everybody out there has an extra safe Halloween. Much, much love to you. Stay safe. Make sure if you're going out that you mask it up okay and i'll just be rocking this super cute look from my couch all night <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can see more content like this let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this like i said i'm not a makeup artist okay i do not do this professionally this was just a look for fun because it's halloween but i can definitely show you guys some more makeup looks we can experiment together if this is what you're into anyways see you next time Mwah.